Tuesday morning, and uh, Amanda, big fan of the snow, me, yes. big fan of the rain. Dan, I don't know where you fall on that spectrum. Are you, you a know, fan of the dry conditions uh, right I'm now? I'm <laughs> dry conditions. I will say I like snow the deeper we get into the year, and mm -hmm. the reason I say that is because I'm, I'm all for a big snowstorm, right. but I hate when it just sticks around. And you know when you get it in March, it's like, okay. It's almost gone. Yeah, yeah. That's but you get true. it now, it's going to stay there until... You know, yeah, you never months. know, yeah. right? It but it's not going to be a big storm. No, it isn't. It isn't. It's just going to be a few flakes, and you know that it's been a mild winter or a winter that we haven't had much snow. When you like, everyone's still excited. For I know a, everyone's a bit still of snow. waiting for it. It's not just me. Not I, well, maybe it's just mostly, you. It's me but here, but it's not me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is going to be minor amounts of snow, but nevertheless, it might create a few slippery spots. But here's the deal: it's generally light. Temperatures are borderline, so roads, if anything, are probably going to be more wet than anything. And then temperatures will climb above freezing, and then we'll just see some light spot showers of rain this afternoon. It does stay chilly during the day today with temperatures in the 30s, but look what happens to the readings tonight. The rain picks up in intensity uh, tonight into, into tomorrow morning, but as that is happening, the wind is picking up and it's bringing in the warm temperatures so that by morning tomorrow, we're near 50 degrees. So we'll see a few snow showers moving through this morning. Temperatures averaging near 32. I think 7 o'clock, for example, most of us are snow free. By 8 o'clock, I think a lot of us are seeing some flakes in the air. That'll probably be up till about lunchtime. And then this afternoon, a few spot showers. A lot of the time this afternoon, it won't be doing a whole lot. Temperatures will come up through the middle and upper 30s. And then the steadier, heavier rain comes in overnight tonight. So snow totals are going to be minor. But nevertheless, that could lead to a few slippery spots later on. The temperature is 30. There's not a whole lot of wind out there. The wind's been between nothing calm to about 5 miles an hour. We pick up another minute of light in the evening. Sunset this evening now at 440. And in a couple of weeks, the sun will be setting at 5 o'clock. So we've had a couple little uh, snow showers move through overnight last night across Franklin County. So those of us in Greenfield, cold rain, you might be waking up to a coating on the ground. And now we're seeing a little snow shower develop across uh, Berkshire County. So the deeper we get into the morning, the better chance that we're going to see some flakes as a warm front moves through. So that's the deal for this morning. And then this, af this afternoon, just a couple of spot raindrops or rain showers. It's tonight that we're going to see steady rain move in. That could be heavy at times into tomorrow morning. So the bulk of the precipitation falls in the form of rain between 8 p.m. tonight and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's when we'll pick up about an inch of rainfall. Uh, tomorrow ends up being windy and balmy with winds gusting out of the southwest up to about 30 miles an hour. And that will keep temps into the 50s tomorrow before we turn cooler tomorrow night. So the warm front brings the snow showers and the rain showers today. The low pressure brings the rain overnight tonight. But it should end tomorrow morning, probably in the morning, during your Friday morning commute. The rain shifts off to the east. We dry out and then eventually we're going to start to cool off. There'll be moisture offshore over the weekend, but that looks like it'll stay far enough east that we will be staying dry. Much of southern New England will pick up an inch of rainfall. Springfield about an inch. Same deal, Worcester, Boston, out across the Cape as well. It'll be breezy tonight and then windy tomorrow. Winds gust maybe 30, maybe 35 miles an hour tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Then the winds will diminish late. They'll swing around into the northwest, and that'll bring in the cooler air for the weekend, but highs tomorrow are going to top off in the mid-30s. Over the weekend, storm system offshore and high pressure to the west will keep it breezy, but for the most part dry. This low pressure will make a run at us, but it'll probably only get to about the Cape. But the Cape could pick up maybe a period of snow Saturday night into Sunday morning, but watch what happens. That area of low pressure pushes out for Sunday and for the holiday MLK Day. So all three days look to be dry and temperature-wise really not bad. Upper 30s and lower 40s. All right, if we don't see you again, have a great morning. Amanda and David, back to you. Thanks, Sam.